You ever think about changing browsers? Opera GX. Opera GX. Opera GX. Opera GX. Opera GX. Thank you, Opera GX, for sponsoring this video. From logging your general location in unsolicited ways to rerouting all of your data to their headquarters, the internet browser that over 25 million gamers use worldwide, Opera GX are not as they appear to be. If you haven't seen my last video or just don't remember the details behind it, here is a short recap. I accused Opera GX of lying to its users in many ways. For example, Opera states that they are located in Norway. However, their parent company, Kunlun Tech, is currently located under Chinese territory, which could bring some problems with the handling of user data. As well as that, its predecessor Opera is considered to be spyware by multiple means, which is important due to these two browsers being owned by the same company. And on top of that, Opera GX had a request going to a geographical logging site on every single launch, which had information such as your exact latitude and longitude coordinates. So with that, here we are. Part 2. Have they gotten any better? Before we start this second investigation, it is important to note that with these videos, I'm not trying to negatively impact the company's reputation in any way, shape, or form. All I'm trying to do is inform the viewer on Opera GX's past, as well as their present. The goal of these two videos are to have Opera change how they operate in regards to how they handle things such as user data. Now with that all out of the way, let's talk about how Opera has changed since my last upload. For one, Opera GX has now removed the geolocation site from their requests. Whether that means they simply hid how the request is run to actually removing it, it's really difficult to know. However, if I run Fiddler to see the requests run, all I see are either requests coming from sites such as Google or Opera's new personal geolocation grabber. This new geolocation grabber now shows that they only grab things such as your internet protocol, your country, and your exact timestamp. This wasn't the case with how data was handled months back, because back then they would log things such as your current local area. As well as that, they also changed what is included in their privacy policy. Over on legal.opera.com slash terms, they state that Opera does not claim ownership over any user-generated content. However, by submitting user-generated content on any service, including any ideas, concepts, know-how, or techniques described therein, you consent to Opera's unrestricted use of those items. With that, if you agree to Opera's terms, you have given them full right to use your data in any way that they find useful, no matter what Opera service you are actually using, including Opera GX. And with that, since Opera's parent parent company Kunlun Tech as well as their headquarters is located in China, they are required to give your data, no matter where you're from, to the CCP. CCP stands for Chinese Communist Party. And since Opera is located under Chinese territory, they are required to share certain data with China authorities on request. That means that if you have used Opera GX at least once since they take data on launch, they have likely given your data to the CCP. And next, let's talk about Kunlun Tech. Kunlun Tech, the parent company that that owns Opera has been under fire in the US due to their acquisition of the popular gay dating app, Grindr. During 2019 and dates prior, their company has been accused of using Grindr to collect user data and giving it to the CCP. Therefore, in March of 2020, they reached a deal to sell the platform just a year after US regulators forced the app to no longer operate under United States territory due to concerns of how data is held using the app. So, they could totally be doing similar practices with Opera GX. And now back to Opera's shady practices that were left unsolved in the last video, I did some more digging on their past and found out that over a span of a few years, Opera's had around four predatory loan slash lending apps connected to the Google Play Store. In case you don't know, predatory lending is a phrase to describe a wide range of unfair financial practices. In their case, they had loan apps which had interest rates up to 876%. And according to Play Store reviews, the four apps that Opera GX made would sell text messages or calls to people in the user's contacts. When payments were late, pretty much threatening to take legal action or place the borrower on a credit blacklist. Now obviously, this is highly illegal and shows that Opera GX bases their decisions on whether or not they can get away with something based on laws of the jurisdiction of the apps that they operate in. So now that you actually see all of Opera's shady practices, from changing their privacy policy to allowing the sharing of data across different areas, to literally managing predatory loan slash lending apps, it should be clear that it may be a little bit difficult to actually trust their company. And as well as that, I hope you enjoyed the final part of my Opera GX series. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, I got some new projects on the way that I can't wait to actually reveal. And anyways, this video did take a hot minute, so please hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next video as per usual. Peace.